The French Directorate General for Armament had announced last month that the upgraded Rafale F4.1 standard had carried out its first flight, which comes with advanced capabilities, but now French officials have said that the Rafale upgrade will not stop at F4 standard, and will extend to Rafale F5 standard by the start of 2030s, and will continue even after the introduction of France's next-generation air combat system in 2040. The Major General of the French Air and Space Force has said that the contours of the F-5 standard have not yet been decided, but it will have an impressive number of capabilities, and some of which cannot be imagined right now. While some media agencies and a DISH chief minister have confirmed about the test of the nearby subsonic cruise missile yesterday, but the DRDO has not released an official press release, which had led to speculations that the test was a failure. There is a possibility that the DRDO will conduct consecutive tests of the indigenous cruise missile in the next two days, and will come out with a comprehensive press release about its success. The DRDO has released an expression of interest seeking a development come production partner for an air-launched missile weapon system, and reports indicate that this is regarding the 300 km range air-launched Rudrim-2 missile, which is a new generation anti-radiation missile meant for suppression of enemy air defense systems surveillance radars and communication systems from large standoff distance. The 200 km range Rudrum-1 has already been tested multiple times from Su-30 fighter jets, and will enter production after five more tests in the next few months, and will be inducted into the Indian Air Force by 2022. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has reviewed the progress of the construction of indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant at Cochin Shipyard, and he said that its commissioning will take place in 2022. He also reviewed the progress of Indian Navy's project Seabird Phase 2A, after which he expressed confidence that the Indian Navy will become one of the top three navies in the world in the coming years. Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited has commissioned the 250-ton Goliath crane at its integrated main unit facility, and the chairman has said that the newly commissioned Goliath crane is a major contributor towards undertaking integrated shipbuilding using advanced modular construction technology to facilitate construction of larger ships in reduced time frame, and will boost the production capacity for undertaking concurrent construction with respect to its ongoing and future projects. After Russia's offer for a comprehensive upgrade of the Dragonov sniper rifles to the Indian Army, the Indian private sector company SSS Defense has also come out with an indigenous upgrade pack that can significantly reduce the recoil with a new tactical buttstock with a built-in monopod and adjustable cheek crest, and will also add night firing capability. Meanwhile, the Russian company Kalashnikov has said that only it has the rights to certify upgrades to the Indian Dragonov rifles. After several reports that India will start receiving the first unit of S-400 system in October, the Russian developers have said that the delivery will start in December, and promised that it would give 100% air cover even in high-altitude areas like Ladakh sector. The first Indian systems are nearing completion of various capability trials, and an Indian Air Force team is already undergoing training in Russia. The Engineer-in-Chief of Indian Army Lieutenant General Harpal Singh had visited Goa shipyard yesterday, to review the progress of 12 fast patrol boats being made for the Indian Army, that was ordered in January 2021 and are meant for deployment in Pangong Tsu Lake in eastern Ladakh sector. He also discussed the future requirements of hovercrafts and interceptor boats with senior officials of the shipyard.